Well, I woke up and I like myself today, so your like is extra. I do know now that it was light, it was God, it was that divine intelligence, whatever you call it. Mm. See, most people want the convenience of transformation without the inconvenience of required, ass, required yeah. for transformation. So you discover things like synchronicity, that uh, you have a thought and all of a sudden what you place your attention on begins to manifest and, and, and arrive in your life. You'll discover that those thoughts are not just things that are just are happenstance. There's no happenstance in this entire universe. It's all held together by a divine light. Of 10 years of judgment, you leaving us, hanging out with white people all the time, you going to these crazy countries, we, we don't know what you, I, I had to be willing to, to allow my conviction to make me inconvenienced. You don't get to talk about your dreams until you can prove that you wake up and every single damn day, you push yourself to take one small action forward. Instead, just say, I'm afraid to leap. Help me leap. Help me leap. Help me get the courage to leap. What's up, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. Salut à tous et bienvenue sur ma chaîne. So in today's video, I'm gonna share some of my favorite audiobooks, podcasts, motivational interviews, and just things that I like to listen to in the morning or throughout the day. So the healthy balance for me of doing these videos is honestly being raw and authentic with you guys. I will honestly say that I procrastinated a lot last year. I waited till the perfect moment, perfect time, perfect opportunity, and sometimes those perfect time, perfect opportunities never come. So the theme of this month was setting a solid foundation before I set new goals. And one thing that I knew for sure is that I needed to start back to the basics and just consume co positive content. For me personally, consuming positive content does so much for me mentally, physically, and emotionally. This last month, I really focused on getting back into the gym because it's therapeutic for me. And I also focused on listening to positive content when I was getting ready in the morning. So I've decided to do a little mini series where I kind of share some of the things that I listen to monthly so that you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. So yeah, let's go ahead and just jump right into the video and just the positive content that I have been listening to within this last month. The top regret of it was I wish I'd had the courage to live the life that I knew I was destined to live. In other words, that I had a purpose, that I knew that there was something greater that I came here to do, that I signed up for something other than just to fit in and to, to go along and to follow somebody else's rules. And <clears throat> most of us are not, uh, don't allow ourselves the freedom to listen to those internal callings, those things that we all feel are just so important to us. And I want to start with a quote mm. from you, if I may, yes. which is, I am my rescue, mm. nobody else. What does that mean to you? Because it really hit me. Um, it means that everything that I need to get back up, I have in me. If I don't have what I need, I can go get it. Once I figured that out, the world was my like playground. Like just, the question was just, where do I go get it? Where do I, oh, I don't know about that. Where do I go get it? Right. And um, and I don't come from a learning background where I was a great student. I wasn't, you know, my highest grade in school was a C plus. And when I got a C plus, I did the happy dance. <laughs> and um, and so I didn't have a background where studying was natural for me. Mm. But when I realized that if I go study something and I learn it, I own it. It's mine now. Man, it was crazy because all through school I struggled. I, the last time I took an English class, my English teacher told me I was the weakest writer she ever met in her entire life. It's getting trapped up here. The bigness of what you're thinking about is what's stopping you. What I want you to do if you're in Vicky's situation is I want you to stop dreaming and I want you to just start doing small things. I want you to go back to curiosity and less into crushing your big goals. The thing about life and business and success is that you have to be willing to start. And for people that procrastinate, starting is the hardest part. For people that worry, for people that think too big, starting is the hardest part. I always tell people, stop checking your phone the first hour of the day. I love um, that. And I, and I just, I, that's like sacred time for me, you know, because I, for me, that's for, I think that if you want to be an elite mental performer or you know, real life superhero, you don't want to start off by checking the phone. We talked about this in the past because you're training yourself to be reactive, right? You're getting your dopamine, you're, you're frying your nervous system with all these likes, shares, comments, and everything else like that. Um, 
that you've said, if I'm not mistaken, you sell your sovereignty we do. <laughs> if you start by checking your phone. I love that so much. When I want to transform or transcend or make a real positive change, I'm looking at all the other areas of ourself. So I'm looking at, for example, our environment. Are, are people setting up their environment to win? At, at a, you know, so, so change doesn't just happen at this level of behavior, but what you have to change the environment. So for example, if you want to stop eating a certain food, it helps to be able to have not that, not have that food in your home, mm. right? So you change the environment. If you want to read more, it helps to help set up your environment where you have the books readily available, where you're going to read it because they perform, you know, how I, how I approach habit change is this area of motivation and this trigger, right? You want to trigger it to help remind you to do the behavior, mm. right? So are you setting up the environment in a way that triggers the behavior that you want? It's already two months into the new year and I'm not the new year, new me type of person, but before I did set new goals for myself, I really worked on these last two months of, of actually finishing things that I was procrastinating beginning, and I needed to get rid of old habits and implement new helpful habits and rekindle those helpful habits that I had when I did start. I listened to this book here. When you actually follow the teachings and some of the exercises, it helps you implement new habits into your daily life. So Audible is not new on my channel. I've partnered up with Audible in past videos. I've talked about using Audible, how it's great because you don't really need to sit, take the time to sit down and read. You can listen to, to it in the car, um, at the gym, around the house while you're cleaning. If you guys are new to Audible, you get your first audiobook for free within the first 30 days when you go to www.audible.com slash findguru or text findguru to 500-500. Some of my favorite features on Audible are the features that allow you to actually save a certain quote and you can send it to a friend or you can save it for yourself. You can skip chapters, the speed. Um, there's just so many different features that make Audible really good to listen to daily. Audible also has Audible Originals, which are an exclusive audio title created by celebrated storytellers from worlds as diverse as literature, journalism, theater, and more. My grandmother says, and I love to repeat this, your conviction, what you're passionate about, your conviction, and your convenience don't live on the same block. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't even in the same zip code. So if you want to have a conviction for something, you have to sign up, sign up to be inconvenienced. We're trying to find convictions and passion and breakthrough on the inside of our box. Well, when you realize that the box doesn't even exist, like someone made up, oh, you're playing outside the box. So we all bought into, there's a box. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't live in, I don't even own a box. And endless we go with all of the reasons why we can't fulfill a destiny that we know is ours, that we signed up for, that we're here for in this infinite universe, that who we are is not this physical body that we're in that is here for a moment and gone. Who we are is this infinite intelligence, and we forget that. The same intelligence that, is, that created this infinite universe that never ends is you. You manifested in this infinite divine organizing intelligence. You're a part of all of it. And I got a calling, and the calling for some of us said, go back, you're not complete. That's not why you were sent here. Just, I'm gonna work harder than the next guy. If, I, if, I, if I'm on a treadmill, I'm gonna die on a treadmill. Like, I get it. I was in South Africa, and this gentleman uh, was translating in Swahili to, from another gentleman, and the gentleman asked me, was I gonna go to the, the party that night? And I said, I'll try to make it. And he went to go back and tell him, he goes, are you gonna go to the party? And I said, I, I'll tell him I'll try to make it. And he went to translate again, he turned back, he goes, are you gonna go to the party? And I said, tell him I'll try to make it. And he looked and goes, lady, there is no word try in Swahili. Are, either you're going or not, tell him. Wow. <laughs> I went, oh, I'll be there at eight. You know? <laughs> like, think about that, that in Swahili, there's no word for try. Wow. We use try as a crutch to say, I really don't want to do it, but I don't want to tell you now. Right. Just say, I'm not gonna do it or I am gonna do it. Like, I love it. I never say try anymore after that. Wow. Like, bold yes or bold no, just choose. Because no one wants to live in uncertainty and ambiguity. And we live a life of ambiguity. I don't know what I want to be. I don't know what I'm going to do. Because you'd never have to move in ambiguity. Mm. Instead, just say, I'm afraid to leap. Help me leap. Help me leap. Help me get the courage to leap. Because I don't want to live a life on the edge. Just say that. That's just, just the truth is sexy. And it's liberating. It's normal to feel those things. It's normal to feel scared. It's normal to feel like you don't want to do it. It's normal to think about doing it perfect. Letting those things stop you is a choice. So, let me recap. 
you're the kind of person like Vicky that's got all these big ass dreams, but you can't get out of your thinking loops. You can't stop procrastinating. You can't stop thinking about it. You get overwhelmed and so you do nothing. The only solution is micro action. That's it. I don't want to hear shit about your big goals. In fact, for everybody out there, I don't want to hear shit about your dreams and your goals until you're actually taking the actions every day for a couple weeks straight. You don't get to talk about your dreams until you can prove that you wake up and every single damn day you push yourself to take one small action forward. If you can do that consistently for a month, then you can start talking about your dreams. Then you can start talking about how you make money at it. Then you can start talking about how you build skill around it. But until you can actually get your ass out of bed and make the commitment to yourself to do the actions required, you're just all talk. That's all I gotta say on that. Do it. Am I gonna be in the same office doing the same thing? Am I gonna live 90 years, you know, or am I gonna live one year 90 times over and over again? And I decided that I just couldn't, couldn't do it. And I just felt, oh, this amazing moment came over of freedom. It was like it just was lifted off to me. And I See, another reason why people won't get there is because the doorway is for you to fit through. You're trying to carry everybody else through because you're trying to be rescue 911. And you got to rescue you first. I am much more valuable to my family and to my community because I was willing to let them go. Go through the door myself, teach myself, learn myself, condition myself, and then come back and get them. I'm much more valuable to them now. But I had to go through a window time of 10 years of judgment. You leaving us, hanging out with white people all the time. You going to these crazy countries. We, we don't know what you, I, I had to be willing to, to allow my conviction to make me inconvenienced. See, we want to grow, but we want to stay liked by everybody. I was willing to be my own rescue at the risk of your approval. But most of us aren't like that. Facebook is an example. We want to be liked. My, my job is to like me first. I was willing to say every day, Lisa, you like you? Lisa, are you proud of you? Lisa, are you playing full out? Every day before I checked in with anybody else. The laws of the material world do not apply in the presence of the God realized. Once you're in that state of God realization, you'll understand things like your intuition. That is that inner calling that says, go this way instead of that way. Try this. Don't be afraid of that. Get rid of the fears that are so dominating your life. The only way to get out of the mental trap is to stop fucking thinking and actually start doing it. The moment you become free from the belief that you are mere human beings, subject to human laws of life, and death and the limitations which human beings have imposed, that moment you will see that you are free from all human limitations and may become sons of God, if you will. The moment you realize that you are divine, that you are free from all limitations and possessed of the strength of divinity, and you know that this divinity is the place where being comes most directly in contact with God, man is then beginning to see and know that this divinity is not something to be injected <clears throat> into each other from without. He is beginning to know that it is the very life of each and every person, your essence, the light within you. And so a part of that was I had to see who I was hanging around. Mm. And, you know, miserable people want company, you know, and I had to literally be willing to not only relocate my mind, but relocate my body so I can relocate my finances and relocate my possibility, relocate my son's future. I was very clear the future my son was gonna have if I didn't do something. And I was not subscribing to that, not on my watch. My son's father went to prison when he was eight months old. And he's been in prison since my son was eight months old. Whoa! My son turns 22 this year. My son is an African-American male child living in South Central Los Angeles when, at that time, he had a 66% chance rate of going to prison, not on my watch but you're never, ever, ever going to advance if you continue up here. How do you force yourself to do it? Well, you can use the five second rule for that. You can wake up in the morning and say, today I'm committing to making small progress on this thing I'm curious about, which is- When you show the little engine that could story, mm -hmm. like I'm not gonna run fast, but I ain't gonna stop running. 
I might slow down and have to breathe and catch my breath, but I'm not stopping because I believe all things are available to all of us and good people should do well because when good people do well, good people just do more good in the world. I am light. All right, y'all, so that concludes my audio clips for this month. If you guys do have any recommendations on how I should do these videos or ways in the past that I did them that were more helpful than what I'm doing now, or if you like this, please give me some feedback down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget, if you guys are new to Audible and you wanna try Audible for yourself, you can get a free audiobook within the first 30 days when you go to www.audible.com slash findguru or text findguru to 500-500. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next upload.